Hey, what's up everybody? This is Nightwing2303 from kicksonclerk.com. Today we have a first impression on the AND1 Tai Chi Mid. This is actually a re-release. So, um, this was a two-pack for their 20-year anniversary. Um, basically, they're two semi-most popular. I don't know how popular one of them was in comparison to the other, but I do know that both shoes were very popular back when they first released 20 years ago. Um, but basically, uh, they got them both in the same pack. And I got these for 150 on their U.S. site. If you want links, they're going to be on my site, kicksoncourt.com. I made a post about it and all that stuff. But this is the box, and um, when you open it up, uh, it comes with both shoes in there. It's got and one like kind of like weird cloth paper, as well as this other paper, like tissue paper inside. And then you have the shoes. So this is... Um, this is what they call the toe chillin'. This was before, like long before the Roshi run. Um, it was an all mesh shoe. And it was your to the court, from the court kind of shoe. Um, basically, you wore this, you know, before and after games and stuff. Um, big, big heel pillows back there. Uh, basic EVA Phylon uh, midsole. Um, solid rubber here and then the inside this white part is part of the midsole itself and uh, yeah this was never a shoe that I liked personally it always looked like like a grandpa kind of shoe uh, to me something that like an old man would wear um, but to tons of people dug this shoe back in the day so um, you know so yeah they come with the, the pack um, the pack I think was 150 total and personally that makes it like I think it's like seventy dollars for each shoe so personally I think that that's way too much for these things um, I wouldn't mind paying seventy dollars for these but for these I just you know they just that's how they get you so um, but yeah with that being said let's just go ahead and get into the tight sheet alright guys so starting off with the traction um, this is not the original traction pattern uh, they have updated this um, I believe that these were just like flat surfaces originally and now they have uh, uh, now they have herringbone in there and I think that that's a good look. Um, you can see the flex groups, and it's a decently thick kind of solid rubber sole. So traction-wise, sorry, take this off. Yeah. So traction-wise, um, I don't know how they're going to perform. They they might perform really well. They have traction placed at the key areas that you'd need them. Um, however, I've played in shoes with minimal traction setups like this and they didn't perform well so it could be one or the other it'll be the re really good or really bad um, hoping for the really good part because I don't like it when shoes have bad traction as far as the cushion goes um, we have a Phylon or EVA midsole so it's a uh, pretty firm um, especially up front and then inside the shoe you have um, an insole first off this is the insole it's really cool looking um, it reminds me of Avatar The Last Airbender, which is like the best cartoon ever, which has nothing to do with performance or my first impression. I just thought I'd let you guys know that that is the best cartoon of all time. And then underneath you got these giant, um, crash pads. This one, they feel a little bit funny because your heels like lifted up. This should have been recessed into the, uh, um, the, the insole a little bit more. Um, sort of like how this one is, but it's <laughs> it's still not like perfect or anything. But uh, yeah, this is just really weird. It feels very funny, and I don't like it. Um, I, I like how it feels, like cushion wise. I just don't like how it feels underfoot like that. It just it's like you're like being full, like a like a wedge or something. It just doesn't feel good. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's pretty much your cushion. So it's just a basic foam setup, very similar to what Adidas offers, except for that these come in pretty cheaper um, or a lot cheaper, I should say. Uh, if you divide the 150 total in half. The material is probably my favorite part. Um, you have nice synthetics all the way up. Um, really nice soft leather. Uh, I just I love that. It's 90s. Um, you can see it on the tongue as well. And then this uh, this new buck here is just super smooth, man. Like this is like it's super smooth. Like I can't even explain it. It just feels great. Um, it's like got a nice touch and stuff. It's like you want to rub your face on it. So um, I think the materials are going to be awesome to play in. Uh, n little to no break in time, as you can see. It's very, uh, you know, pliable or malleable, whatever you want to call it. And um, I think the materials are going to be nice. Uh, I love playing in leathers and new bucks and things like that. So 
this pretty much gives me what I personally enjoy. They're fit. Uh, basically, I went with my regular size, size 9, and they fit really small. Um, I wish I would have gotten a 9.5. My toes are literally like pushing up on this thing. So, um, hopefully, you know, that doesn't hurt too bad when I'm playing. <laughs> so, um, as far as lockdown goes, they felt fine, but basically because they were hugging the crap out of my foot. So, um, yeah, and then that crash pad, it lifts your heel up just a little bit to where, like, you feel like your heel is about to pop out of here. Even though it didn't, it just felt like it. So, when you're playing, it could be a totally different thing. Could could come out, could, uh, could not. Um, so, we'll see how that goes. But, um, yeah, the inside lining, very plush and padded. I love that. Tongue as well. So... Um, but yeah, uh, you know, fit definitely, I'd recommend going up half a size, uh, right off the bat and then everything else we'll kind of see how they play out. Um, and if anybody's wondering what this is right here, uh, that's just their throwback 93 to 2013, uh, with like a chain link from a fence. So, um, but yeah, so fit, go up half a size, um, everything else we'll kind of find out. How it goes once you start playing in them and everything for the performance review. Ventilation is pretty self-explanatory. There isn't any. So as far as the support, basically that's going to come mostly from that fit. Um, this was released during a time when outriggers weren't um, widely used. So you can see that there really isn't an outrigger. Um, and all that stuff. The, the, the base is flat though, so it'll be fairly stable. And then you also have these TPU uh, plates. So that's for torsional support and arch support. And um, they felt fine when they were on foot. So, you know, but uh, yeah, the softness of the material, the lack of ventilation, things like that, that could affect uh, overall support from the fit. Um, if it like weakens the materials from just getting too soft, uh, from being too hot and moist and all that stuff. So, um, but yeah, again, we'll see how it goes. It's just first impression. And uh, that pretty much takes care of everything. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the quick look. Or this wasn't a quick look, but hope you enjoyed the look while I gave my first impression thoughts. Um, stay tuned to my site, kicksoncourt.com, for the performance review on these guys. You can also follow me on Instagram. I post pictures of these things on feet, on court, and I also give updates throughout the testing process. Um, you know, like how, how, how it's going, basically. So, um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for all your support. And until next time, guys, have a good one.